What's up guys, Exus here with an After Effects tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do a drop, an impact, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's basically the um, part where uh, like the massive impact uh, happens in your intro, like when all the text comes in or like the logo kind of explodes, that kind of thing. Uh, so if you want to see how to do a intro, you can go and check out my last tutorial, which was on Cinema 4D. So I'll have a link for that in the description. But this is After Effects, so um Yeah. <laughs> so first create a new composition by doing control and N. I'm gonna do a twelve eighty by seven twenty and twenty five FPS. Doesn't really matter as long as it's the right resolution for your intro. So um first what we're gonna want to do is obviously import our footage. I did a PNG sequence, so I'm going to do Control and I, and as you can see here, I've got my guild entry. And if you have a PNG or a picture sequence, basically, um, go into the folder that you uh, rendered it into, and then on the second frame, double click on that, and that will create a PNG sequence there. So as you can see, I've got my intro. I've not really added anything, obviously, because I've not been in After Effects. But in here, you can add your um, color corrections and basically all the stuff you do in post. So as you can see, I've got the hit there. And first, I'm going to show you quite a simple hit. It's just basically a zoom. You duplicate the uh, logo or the intro, and then it'll zoom into the camera. So let's get started on that. Make sure your footage is selected and do Control D to duplicate it. And then, just as it happens here, press S on your uh, duplicated footage, which will bring up the scale. Press the keyframe. Go about 5 or 10 seconds from that keyframe forward. So I'll just do 5. There. Um, and then, on your scale, just scale this up into the camera like that and then you can do shift F9 for an easy ease effect on the keyframe and then on the last two frames so you do just go two frames back go into your uh, footage select uh, press T which will bring up the opacity check the keyframe and go two frames forward again and lower the opacity to zero shift F9 again to do an easy ease effect and as you can see that fades out and as you can see it's kind of jumpy because uh, there's no motion blur or anything which would naturally be there so um, After Effects has its own built-in motion blur so as you can see here if it's not appearing it was probably because you're on the uh, wrong toggle and so you can see it's not there now but if you click toggle it'll come up just check that and check the uh, one up here which will allow uh, motion blur for that whole composition and as you can see you've got motion blur and it fades out you can even make the fade longer if you want so there you can even add a rotation so press U on your keyboard to bring up all your keyframes go to the start of the scale and then press R to bring up your rotation keyframe it just at the start of that zoom effect and then go five frames forward or however many frames you did the animation for and then just rotate that however uh, much you want you can do an easy ease effect on that as well and as you can see it now rotates out and um, also on your opacity if you don't want to make it uh, make it a little bit, little bit subtle, uh, subtler, you can bring down the opacity on that keyframe. Don't uh, don't go into another frame and then key and then change it there because that you see will create a keyframe there, and you don't want that. So make sure it's on that keyframe, not the faded out one, just the normal keyframe. Bring it down a bit. Twenty or thirty are normally really good for. Uh, this effect. So um, yeah, that's basically that one. 
So I'm just going to delete this and then get the original and duplicate it again. And I'm going to show you the shine effect. Now this is a trap code plugin, so I'm pretty sure it's paid, but there's a couple places you can get it free, obviously. So if you go and look that up, you can get shine. And then once you've got it, open your After Effects and then search shine in there and drag it onto your new layer. As you can see, it's a really nice effect. And normally what I do is I turn down the ray length and boost the light. It kind of looks like lava. Or it's like going to burst. And then what I do is to make it fade in, you go just before everything is happening. Or I, I kind of like a fast fading. So you can go to here maybe just before it happens. Uh, turn the shine opacity down to zero. Click the keyframe. And then go to where it, uh, you know, all the text comes in or whatever happens in your intro. And then go into here, click U to see, see all your keyframes. And then I'm going to do an easy ease. And then I'm going to do a fade out gradually, just before four seconds here. And then I'm going to do easy ease out, which basically saves the animation till the end or just before the keyframe happens. So there as you see. I might actually make it a bit faster. So obviously that look a lot better with camera shake and all that. So also that's a really good effect. And here's a, another effect I guess. Um control D to duplicate it. And then this is this is a built in plugin so you don't have to buy this or anything. Just type in lens, get CC lens, and it's a really mad effect. It's, it's kind of like a, a fish eye effect on a camera. Uh, I mean, a, like a, ca a fish uh, fish eye camera lens. Um, and you just basically what I do is I change the size until the ring is just outside the frame. And that creates a little effect there. But if you have like an intro where the um, logo is a lot closer to the camera this will be a lot more effective and then what I do is I go to where the hit happens which is here keyframe the size and then go back a couple frames and then turn the size up to 500 which is its max as you can see there's still a little bit of distortion but it's not too bad and then when that happens, you can just, I'm going to click U to see all the keyframes. Just go like five, sec uh, five frames forward and turn this back up to 500. And if you don't really like the distortion, you can even go and fade it out after it happens. Because there's still a little bit of um, like distortion after you've uh, turned the size up to 500. So that's an also that's also a really nice effect. Uh, you could also use trap code form. I've already um, is uh, to create a blast wave. Uh, I think Air Viper did a tutorial on that, so I'll leave a link down below for that. And um, but I've I've made one and I've saved it somewhere. Uh, I'll just get it. Uh, here. And then just put that on top of your footage. Go to the, um, the hit, I guess. And then, as you can see, it's a really nice effect. And because this has not got an alpha channel, go into blending mode and screen, which will then make it uh, make the black bit uh, transparent. And then I'm going to tint this. So go into infect your effects and type tint. Bring your tint onto it, which will make it grey. Go into the white part, and then change it to whatever colour 
whatever the main colour is in your intro, so mine's orange obviously. And uh, that looks good. If you think it doesn't happen fast enough, um, what you can do is, I'm going to put it under, my la uh, under the layer I think, wait no I'll put it on top of it. Um, what you can do is you can do a time remap, so right click on your layer, go to time, enable time remapping, and then go to an, about here, and then click the keyframe here, and then drag this keyframe closer to the start, so it's like the um, it's more like a blast wave effect because the blast happens a lot quicker at the start, and then it slowly decreases speed near the end. And if you think it looks a bit jumpy, obviously do uh, easy ease there with shift F9. And also, normally I think it looks a bit harsh, so you can turn down the opacity a bit. And that looks great. So, um, that's uh, basically a hit tutorial there. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, and thanks for all the support I've been getting lately. It's really motivated me to do all the intros and stuff, and um, suggest more tutorials below. And thanks for watching. Bye.